In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Almighty God, we thank you for this time and this opportunity you've given us. In the midst of all chaos and difficulties we face, to reflect on the virtue of chastity, that through these virtues we may be able to master our bodies, ourselves, and our spiritual life. Send us your Holy Spirit to guide us and to enlighten our hearts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Dear friends, listeners of Radio Maria, I'm Father Dennis Wataka Opi, a Dominican, and today I would like us to reflect on the virtue of chastity. Just to begin, uh, about two weeks ago I was meeting some young people, and we were talking about various issues, and one of the things that came up was chastity is meant for priests and not for lay people, it's meant for consecrated, the religious. It's that that informed me to come and share with you today on this virtue which is so important, central to our lives in the family, as young people, as married people, as religious and priests. It's a virtue that cuts across all of us. And through the history, <coughs> through the history of the church, People have been reflecting on this question, on how this virtue can help us to live our life authentically, to live our sexuality, to live our Christian life, especially in this modern world which is so sexualized, which is so modernized, whereby it's difficult to get time to have a pure mind, to get time to have pure thoughts. And so I would like you to join me in reflecting on this topic and should you have questions at the end or contributions, you will be welcome. I'm going to base my reflection mainly from the Catechism of the Catholic Church, from the document of the Congregation of Divine Faith about chastity, and also from a document issued by the Episcopal Conference of the Catholic Bishops in the United States, reflecting on this. I want to begin by looking at various definitions that this virtue has been given. And one of those definitions is a successful integration of sexuality within a person and thus inner unity of human in his body and in his spiritual being. This means that we accept and realize who we are, our sexuality as a male person, our sexuality as a female person, and therefore integrate it with my growth both spiritually and my body so that when my body develops and I experience certain changes 
they don't alarm me but they help me to even journey better because I understand myself. The second definition is it's a joyous affirmation of someone who knows how to live self-giving, free from any slavery or self-centeredness. This means basically that once you've known who you are, you can be able to live freely as a male person in that society, as a female person in that society, in that community, even with the changes that come as you grow. And this, in turn, helps one to have a good personality which is harmonious in growth of the society and in growth of the individual as he interacts with the family members. So this helps one to not only develop in other aspects, but also someone will develop as a spiritual being who is female, as a spiritual person who is a male. And thus, it will help him or her to know how to relate with God, to know how to approach God in his or her state as a female or as a male. Just it is also the spiritual power which frees love from selfishness, from any aggression. That is to say, when chastity is weakened in a person, his love becomes more inclined to selfishness. That is to say, chastity is a virtue that helps us to love freely for the sake of love. You can love the opposite sex without any selfish desires without any strings attached. So in that sense, we'll be able to relate with everybody you come across. You'll be able to relate with the young ones and the older ones. You'll be able to relate with your age mates. But love that is so pure, love that is not self-centered, love that is only after giving the best for the other, giving the best for your, uh, the person you are relating with.